All right, here's what we're going to do today. We're going to do salmon, frozen salmon. We're going to thaw out. Uh, we're going to sprinkle some extra virgin olive oil on top, drizzle. And then we're going to season two of these with the Old Bay blackened seasoning, uh, really good, which I like there. We're going to go with that for two. And then the other two, we're going to try something different we've never done before, coffee rub. We're not sure how that's going to turn out, but we'll see. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to soak cedar planks in water for a minimum of an hour. And then we're going to directly set the cedar planks on our grill grates with the salmon on the cedar planks. Also something new we've never done. Um, for side dishes, we're going to do baked potatoes wrapped in aluminum foil, uh, probably either directly on the coals or on the grits. Corn on the cob, it's going to be done the same way as the baked potatoes, we're just going to wrap them in aluminum foil and go directly on the grits. So can you stay with us, we're going to take it out to the take it out to the grill here in a couple of minutes and then we'll get, get it fired up. Okay, so now we're just going to soak our cedar planks in cold water for an hour. So double them up. Just gonna get enough water to keep them submerged. That'll probably do it there. And we'll wait on it, keep it down. And wait a minute. Okay, so simply, uh, we're just going to, actually we are already soaking our cedar planks. Um, cast iron weight to keep them down from floating. And while we're at it, go ahead and throw the salmon in there. Get those falling out. And we'll take it out to the grill. Okay. We're out here at the grill, and I like to use strictly wood when I'm cooking. I don't like to use any charcoal, just a personal preference. So we're going to be doing the fish with uh, a little bit of cherry wood. We're going to be flavoring it with cherry wood. And what I'm going to try to do is use my ferro rod to ignite pine shavings. Okay, this is just pine wood shavings that I picked up off my job site. Okay. What I'm going to try to do is put those in a pile like this. I'm just going to use a simple paper towel I'm going to try to ignite that with my ferro rod uh, to get the wood shavings to uh, go to flame and then I'm going to try to put some killing on it or see what happens. Let's try it out. Losing our wood shavings, we're gonna try to salvage.
Okay, I'm just gonna try to establish a coal bed here, which obviously we're gonna have some time. Now that we got fire established, I'm going to add a little bit of apple wood to the mix. Just simply because I like to mix my woods. Now I'm going to do the apple and the cherry. Okay, while I have a little bit of coals, I'm going to go ahead and drop my potatoes in there. I'm assuming they're going to take a little bit longer than the fish, so we're going to get them started. Okay, now that we have coals down to where we want them, we're ready for cooking, so we're going to put our grates in. It's hot. Meanwhile, keep in mind, I'm keeping my baked potatoes down here in the coals. We're going to let them go the entire time. Here is the coffee rub. Put that directly. And then uh, black and seasoned. And then we're going to go with one on the cup. So we're going to put one in the middle. I feel like we're going to be a little bit too much heat. We're going to lower this down. Like so. And I think we're going to let that go. So, that's what we have. Let's give you a better view. And we have the baked potatoes underneath. Uh, we're going to let that go. Maybe an hour or so, and we'll check on it. Be back with you. Okay, quick update. <laughs> we were starting to ignite our cedar planks, so I simply moved my gray, or my coals all the way as low as I possibly can. Uh, so slow that down a little bit. But everything's looking good, other than that. Okay, so it's been about 20, 25 minutes, and we're gonna check progress. Uh, again, we're gonna do a fork test, which I can tell right now it's a lot better. Uh, I would call that pretty close. 
Well, hell, let's taste a piece. Mmm. Actually, I like mine a little bit more well done. Uh, it's a little spongy, so we're going to keep going, actually. Check back in a few more minutes. Okay, so after doing our test, our taste test, uh, we were still a little spongy. And as you can see, we lost a lot of, a lot of heat. Coals are dying down. So what I did, I went ahead and app added some more apple wood uh, through, the, through the smoker box. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, that smoke, but as you can see, it, it's picking back up. So we're going to let that rise, which it looks like it is. Uh, hopefully another 15 minutes will be finished off. Check back in. So it's been about 40 minutes. Put more apple wood in there. And as you can see, focus that in. Temperature's up to about 200, about where we want to be. Let's check it out. That's about where we want to be. I know we're blurry, but... Corn looks good. Everything looks good. Uh, let me get her inside and catch back up with you. All right, here is finished product. We have blackened Old Bay seasoning. Looks good. Looks really good. And coffee rub. Very interested in trying that. Uh, we'll let you know afterwards what we think about that. Baked potato. Cut in with that. See what we got. Oh yeah, nice and soft. Get a little butter on that. Pepper. Oh, lots of pepper. Baked potato check. Fish check. Corn on the cob, never done corn on the cob on the grill. To me, it looks a little overdone, but we'll try it out. Should, probably should have taken it off a little earlier. So that's it. Check back in and see what we got. Okay, this is the final, final product. Uh, got the coffee rubbed salmon here and the regular, well, I say regular because I typically use the blackened seasoning. I'm more interested in the coffee rub, something different. 
and of course added the applesauce. So let me get to it and I will let you know what we think. Okay, back with you after finishing the salmon with the coffee rub and I just wanted to give my praises uh, for this stuff. I had my doubts to begin with but in the end it prevailed. Let's see if I can get this crappy camera to focus in for you. Uh, but before we get into that, um, I realized after the recording that the, it was in vertical film. Uh, it was my first attempt at making a video, so we're making mistakes as we go. So I'm going to fix that before we do the next one. So, I mean... I think the video was enough to get the point across of what we did and how it turned out. So, but like I said, I apologize for the black vertical bars. We'll get rid of those next time. <clears throat> but as far as for the rub, uh, I was very satisfied with the rub. It turned out very good. So I get that blur off of there. Um, obviously, coffee and it says also kosher salt, brown sugar, espresso, paprika, and other spices. Uh, I think I taste a little hint of maybe cinnamon in there as well, possibly. And we also used the Old Bay Black and Seasoning, which even next time I might even think about mixing those together and seeing how that turns out. But yeah, this will definitely be added to the spice rack for sure. Definitely satisfied with that. Uh, the actual brand is fire and flavor. I know you're probably having trouble seeing that. But uh picked it up at Lowe's, actually. Lowe's Hardware Store of all places. But I'm sure any local grocery store is going to carry some type of coffee rub. Uh, highly suggest trying that out. Okay, so thanks for joining us on this cook. Uh, everything turned out great. Had some good salmon, good baked potatoes, good corn on the cob. Couldn't have been more satisfied with the new rub there. You see what we tried. And uh, next time probably going to be doing some honey smoked turkey uh, on the offset smoker grilling's not really my wouldn't call it, I wouldn't call anything my specialty really but if I had one strength I would say low and slow with the smoker it's probably definitely my strength so we're going to be doing a turkey on that uh, so join us for that one thank you